Dramani Mahama, a Titoma Baya, Ava Drupa, Bududu, a look campaign, or Wagoma, and you talk here, I'm going to a man. And I'm going to have a chill, a choy, or a pajinu, a tombon, a fag, but to two vayi, a la bear, a drape, one of a vic and a bududu. Ike wa toji a da kone la fwa jinu a toan gba na fwa nukeke wi a toan gba Ba wa zu a flaga chola na NDC junya He he a apa ale ke wo chwa flaga Vay la fwa akwa vwa kwa bula a fwa mene A no jine na mas tu tu Ke la ek ban keka ji ya A da so ha gade a kachi a nye ha nu tuwa mwe A ta fwa ma bobo a no butu 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 A la ba NDC junya ha ma no la kwa a kamachi vwa vwa O kwe a lo a fwa La wa na mwe a a da nya gade de oda ko ku de apa bubu dodo ya unchi alaba adda jipuna en this is ya ha mana lo pe wa a je gbagba adda kone ba ya asu a flaga chola alaba inya made ke apo mutafa la adupo polo ma Vice President, he used to come to my house and uh, to my office and uh, we would chat from time to time. I'm okay. happy with the work he's doing here. Oh, okay. so, honorable Member of Parliament, Honorable Ahiafo, I also want to congratulate all of you for the strength of the party in this uh, region. Our regional chairman, members of my entourage, my campaign chairman, Honorable Professor Joshua Labi, and all the other dignitaries assembled here, but most of all, our constituency and branch executives. I wish to acknowledge you. Today, I'm here for a simple reason, and that reason is to thank you for what you did for me in the previous primaries. As the MP was saying, when I stood against six other people, you gave me 98% of the vote. And I want to thank you very much for it. And to inform you that the time has come. I am a product of the NDC. I am who I am because of the NDC. President Rawlings saw me as a very young man in my 30s at the time and he made me Deputy Minister of Communications. And that's where it started. I'd earlier been elected as Member of Parliament for Bole Bamboy and President Rawlings made me Deputy Minister of Communications. After a year and a half, he was happy with my work. And so in November 1998, he elevated me and made me a cabinet minister and minister of communications. And so I continued to work. Unfortunately, in 2000, we lost the election and we came into a position. Those of us who were the minority in position, just like today, we have and here four and others as the minority. We took on the NPP, boot for boot in Parliament, and we held them at bay until the party was able to reorganize and win elections again in 2008. The next person I acknowledge will be Professor John Iwasa Tamils. He also saw me and called and said, John, I want you to be my Vice President. I said, me? <laughs> He said, I feel in my spirit that if I run with you, we'll win the election. And I said, if it's for NDC, I'll do it. Come 2016, they came with all kinds of promises and bought the minds of the people of Ghana that if they voted them, they were going to turn Ghana into a paradise. And they called us incompetent. They said we were incompetent. And so the people of Ghana voted us out. We accepted it calmly, and I said, posterity will be the judge, because we were doing our best, 
the development does not happen overnight. We were moving it step by step. They came and with all their slogans, 1D, 1F, 1V, 1D, 1 million per constituency, 1 child per egg, 1 egg per child per day. One... And those slogans were very sweet in people's ears. And they went around asking Ghanaians to try me. We don't call
country does not belong to one family. Ghana belongs to all of us. The future of Ghana is the future of your children, my children, and our grandchildren. And so we cannot let one group hold this nation hostage. For eight years, seven years, almost six and a half years, they have done whatever they want and they won't listen to anybody. We saw this coming in 2019. In Parliament, go through the hands that every budget they brought from 2019, the finance minister was told that the rate at which you are borrowing, you are going to get us into trouble. When he does the budget, he hides the debts and gives a good picture that Ghana is okay. So it makes me ashamed because he kept giving a positive narrative about Ghana's economy and how we are doing very well. So today when I go abroad, people ask me, Ah, President Muhammad, what happened to Ghana? I said, we knew when we were saying it. We kept raising the red flag that there's a problem coming. And yet they said, oh, it's NDCMP, that's what these NDCMP people were tired of them. Today you are tired of us. Are we all not in the ditch? You know, all the Osokos and the neutral people and the chiefs who were praising them and all that, today are we all not going to the same market? You know, and so we need to get out of this situation. And the only viable alternative party that can get Ghana out of this situation is the NDC. is going to be the most critical election because the future of our dear country Ghana depends on the 2024 election. Ghanaians want to hold MPP accountable for their stewardship but we cannot do it as long as they are in power. They will protect their people, they will refuse to account. And so none of them is innocent. None. All of them are guilty. Some people today want to run for president and so they have quickly pulled themselves back and are washing their hands and behaving as if they were not part of it. All of them, they did inside. They all have contributed to the mess in which we are. Because when Vice President Baumia was saying, our economic management team. We have Professor John Bafo. We have Alan Chermate. We have Honorable Osafo Mafo. We have Keno Foriata. What a solid team. What a solid team earlier. jointly and severally contributed to uh, putting Ghana in the ditch in which we are. And Ghanaians are looking up to us to salvage them. And so we shouldn't joke with this election. It's very important. And the only way we can win this election is for us to be vigilant. They say elections are won or lost at the polling station, not at the electoral commission, at the polling station. If we do our work well, nobody can cheat us. And I'm not going to win you the election. If you make me the flag bearer, I'll go around, I'll campaign for the party, I'll mobilize resources for the party to prosecute the campaign. But on the D-Day, the polling stations are 40,000 in this country. I cannot be in 40,000 polling stations. Who are going to be in the 40,000 polling stations? It is you, the branch executive. And that is why I'm saying that it is you who can win this election for us. And so on that day, the vigilance we show in our individual polling stations, we must all volunteer to be party agents. 
we must go from house to house and pull everybody out to come and vote. It is that duty that we must perform to win the election. And so the victory in the election depends on you. I know we're in a opposition, and so we don't have the kind of resources that one would expect we should have. But I can assure you that it is not only us who won the MPP out. A lot of people who have the resources, businessmen and all kinds of people, have come to me and they have said, we want this NPP out of power. And so, we are ready to help you with the resources to get them out of power. And they showed it. During our Congress, we held the last time at the Accra Stadium. It was people who voluntarily financed it. The money did not come out of my pocket. But people came voluntarily to me and said, look, this, we know this is the beginning of getting MP, MPP out of power. And so we're contributing our widow's might to be able to do that. It cost us millions to hold that Congress. We have to bring people from all over the country to Accra, put them in accommodation, feed them to do the Congress. And I can assure you, people came voluntarily. 50,000, 10,000, 20,000, 500,000, 1 million. And we held a successful Congress. They say the same way we helped you to hold that Congress, we're going to help you to fight the election and win the election. I don't have money to give you. I'm a pensioner. I retired in 2016. And so government pays me a small pension every month. But it is not about money. Today all of us sleep with one eye open. Because Atiglini is in power. When our own party, NDC, is in power, you will sleep with your eyes closed. You will dream. You will snore. You will open your mouth. You will throw your hands and your legs. And you will sleep well. Because former President Kofor said that it's better to be a messenger in the ruling party than to be the chairman of the opposition party. You can sleep better when your own party is in power. And so we need to do that hard work. And I know that you are going to do the hard work. I'll mobilize the resources. They promised to give us t-shirts, posters, flags, bicycles, motorcycles, vehicles, and everything for this campaign. But what I'll beg, but what I'll beg is that when the t-shirts come and the resources come, please, constituency executives, regional executives, let it go to the branch
officials are pulling agents properly. Because vigilance is what we need. If we are vigilant and the right thing is done at the polling station, I have no doubt in my mind that NDC will win the election of 2024. And so when we're choosing the polling agents, let's not choose based on who came into the party first. It is who is qualified to be able to do it. The electoral system has changed. It is now a system where you need somebody who is educated, who can work arithmetic, to be able to check the figures and all that. And so if you haven't gone to school enough or you don't, you, you are not very good at arithmetic and you are even an executive, you have a child who is in university or is somewhere, bring him, let us train him and let him go and sit at the police and think correct. And so when the time comes, we're going to come round and you give us people to train. And this time we're going to train more than two. We're going to train about ten people for every polling station. So that on that day, any two can go and sit there. We don't want to train two and on that day one is sick and then they have to replace him with somebody who is not trained or something like that. So we'll train more than two. And we're going to train them what to look out for to make sure that the election is free and fair. And finally, we're having the parliamentary primaries on the same day as the presidential. And so we're doing the presidential primary and the parliamentary primary. I just want to remind you that this is an internal contest. It's a contest amongst brothers and sisters. We're all in the same party. Our real opponent is the MPP, not ourselves. And so we expect everybody to conduct a clean and decent campaign. No insults. Because after the election, we need everybody to come on board so that we can win the election. If it allowed three or four, we would let all of them go. But unfortunately, only one. So after this contest, one person will emerge. But what we expect is like in the family, if there is a chieftaincy title, all of us go and contest the title. But after one has been chosen and put on the seat, the family rallies around the person to make sure that he's successful. And so let's do the same for this contest. Let's run decent campaign. May 13th, we will go, we will vote, and whoever emerges, we will all come around and support the person. And so I want to thank you very much for coming in your numbers. Ben 
Bernard and here for many so at a couple of Milana, a catchy and yeah, a machine to a happen to who
ne curia chung cuma ci vasere iafă ia ton mahamadia e na mai ca uto aba cuma rolens pla ta misena ne mala pasha lo kufo president kufo ha ia obiar La akamati vovo vo pon nu popo vo magbe a e ma kobe e juma vi wan to palo ndc junya ha ma no la yo ke e gere te fa pole ke wan akata ko ye ha o po jijo de o po jijo popo de go na avana tv ale mama va mi agbo a do jina mi to ya pe ja ji ga la va chi gni to a mo bla o nya o na mi fu pa ma la gbagba aya ta ma ha ma ya pe yi ga na ma ha ma ro ja ja ya lo fu ya pa mo na mi a si ma ti a ke zimanola na ndc junya hala amganu to am apato imanola gbavito ha adanya na ka fu ado da goku de zuklara ho jon do mani mahama fa bulu dodo hana jidudu ikewa adako ni wa azutukola aponcho nchi Oh, <laughs> oh,